On this channel I've quite often discussed one-off oddities from the Second World War, but in today's video I want to step back to the First World War and discuss one of the one-off oddities from that war. That being the stop with 3F2 Hippo. The Sot with Hippo is perhaps one of the more bizarre looking aircraft to come out of the First World War. Its backwards stagger was certainly something a little different to other aircraft of its day, and no doubt gave it quite a distinctive look. The Hippo was a private venture by the Sot with Aviation Company, with some sources suggesting it was initiated to develop a replacement for the Sot with one half strutter, then in production to fulfil orders for the French. There was little interest from the British Air Board in the Hippo, but interestingly they did give Sotwith a license to proceed with development and produce prototypes. The Hippo would be a two-seater fighter, designed to provide the best visibility for both the observer and the pilot. For this, the pilot was placed in front of the wing, while the observer position was placed in the middle of the top wing, just behind the rear spar. The backwards stagger of the wings was at 2 feet 3 inch, allowing for greater visibility below for the observer. Armament consisted of twin firing Lewis machine guns on a rocking pillar mounting, while the pilot has synchronised twin firing machine guns that fired through the propeller. The power plant was set at the new 200 horsepower Clergett 11 EB 11 cylinder rotary engine, the first of which arrived at the Sotwith factory during early September 1917. The Hippo's official designation would be the Sotwith 3F2 Hippo. It is believed that the first flight of the Hippo occurred on the 13th of September 1917. The prototype differed from drawings by having balanced ailerons. Due to the shortage of the Clergett engine, it is said that the example utilised the power of the Hippo prototype for its first flight was swapped several times between it and the Sotwith 2FR2 Bulldog. Anyway, by November 1917, the Clergett engine was back in the Hippo prototype, as it began trials by Sotwith at Brooklands. The following month, a new set of wings were installed to the Hippo prototype featuring balanced ailerons. In January 1918, the Sotwith Hippo undertook trials at Martlesham Heath, receiving the number X11. However, trials quickly discovered several limitations in the design. The aircraft was described as being extremely slow, the pilot had poor visibility due to the cowling housing the guns obscuring part of their vision, and the observer was situated too far away from the pilot, making communication difficult. The only thing positive noted from pilots was that rudder and elevator controls were fairly light. The Hippo's performance was lower than the Bristol F-2B already in service with the Royal Flying Corps, and least to say, by February 1918, the British had lost all interest with the project. Still, the Hippo was delivered back to Sotwith, who must have still believed in the design, as they began working on modifying and improving the design. A scarf ring with a single Lewis machine gun was inserted in the observer's seat in place of the twin Lewis guns on a rocking pillar mount. A new landing gear consisting of streamlined steel tubes was added, replacing the old wooden design, and the vertical fin was enlarged. The balanced ailerons were also replaced with normal ailerons of a greater span. Finally, and perhaps most major of all, the back stagger of the wings was reduced to 1 foot 9 and 3 8 inches, and the top wing had an increase in the wing dihedral from 3 degrees to 5 degrees. It is believed that in this form, it was back in the sky by April 1918. In June 1918, a hippo with the designation X-18 was flying. It is unknown whether the Hippo X-18 was the original prototype that had been modified, or if it was a second example that had been built. Furthermore, later in the year, Sotwith did release a series of performance figures relating to the Hippo. However, it seems that these figures were taken from a Hippo with a shortened wingspan. Thus, it is also unknown what machine these figures were obtained from. By the mid of 1918, it was clear that there was little interest in the design, and the project faded away into obscurity. As far as known, one prototype was built, however it is plausible that there were additional machines. The Sotwith Hippo was sure an interesting and unique design, but one that could be described as a below average aircraft. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to go leave a like and subscribe for future videos. In the meantime, keep flying high.